30 laps. Pace car moves to the infield. Lights go out. South Australian Super Sedan title about to be launched. Gartner and Alexander. 30 on the board. Let's set them loose. Nicola gets squeezed. Collins on the inside. Gartner and Alexander. Collins to the inside. Around the top. One on two wheels. That was the 34 car of Collins. Almost tipped it over. Nicola sits a happy fourth. Back to Peter Nicola. So back straight, 28 to run. Gartner, your leader. Then we go back to Alexander Collins. Back to the three car of Mick Nicola Sr. So it's down the back chute we travel this time. A little bit of fiberglass sitting out of turn three, or turn two. Alexander Collins back to Nicola. Sitting a happy position number five. That'll be Peter Nicola in the two. Mick Nicola Sr. just down the road. Trevor Ware, Lionel West also back in the pack as we go caution on the racetrack. You can find coming out of turn number two will be the zero of Lucas Roberts. So set for a restart, 27 on the board. Gardner to lead away. Alexander and Collins back to Mick Nicola. Sets a solid fourth, Peter Nicola trying to go with them. So Gartner looks a lot more comfortable than he did here a fortnight ago. Peter on the inside of Mick Nicola just slams that door. Trevor Weir now on the inside of the 22. Mick Nicola Jr. also getting on racing terms. It's about position number seven. On the front straight we travel, still with 25 to run. Gartner, your leader. Back to Collins, who sits a happy third. Alexander sitting second. Back to Nicola, back to Mick and Peter Nicola. Then we go back to the 22. So Trevor Weir now working on the inside. We'll get the spot for just that brief moment. As we now got a bit of a challenge for the lead. Alexander throwing down the gauntlet side by side down the back straight alexander with 23 to run there's a bit of a touch 22 from home gartner alexander has he shown him that he's a faster race car as the setup started to work in the 47 still 21 from home as we say that roses around and also <laughs> No, that's Mick Nicola went around here. You got a oh, big, sorry, wrong one. A big hit from Lionel West. Uh, Lionel West. likes dishing them out, doesn't he? Well, Lionel had nowhere to go. Those guys had already gone around. Uh, jury's involved there. I think it might be uh, Nicola Jr. Or yeah, that'd be the Mick yep. Nicola Jr. And, 23. Uh, and Mick went around and West had nowhere to go and gave that car a big thump in the back end. Which, uh, as I said before, it hasn't been a great two weeks for... Uh, for our multiple Australian Superstand champion, Mick Nicola, he's given, <laughs> given the kid a little bit of a tap there. Is that just a, wait, get out of the way. Here you go. Yeah. So uh, they, they borrowed that car uh, while they're waiting for their new car to arrive, which uh, uh, Robbie's mum, Robin, told me just before, probably this week, but they won't have time to get it ready. So they'll keep running the Nicola car until they've got the new one ready. Sounds good. Sounds like a plan. Gardner holds them up just to keep them all guessing. 22 to run. It is the main here tonight. Alexander Nicola made the mistake in fourth. Brings Trevor Ware now into this picture. Lionel West is sitting there. He gives Trevor Ware a punch up the backside. Leaves his autograph on the back of the five. Mick Nicola Jr. running about mid-pack. But it's down the back straight away we go. 20 from home. Alexander just a car width higher. Dave's going to have to be careful. Because Alexander's showing that, that there is a top groove to this racetrack. Back to Collins, who sits a solid third. Peter Nicola in the two. Lionel West on the inside. He'll come out and squeeze Trevor to the fence. But it's out in front. 18 from home. Dave Gardner still holding that low groove. Collins is a happy third. 
Then we go back to Peter Nicola, Lionel West, Trevor Ware, Mick Nicola Jr. On the inside, Ware, look at West, bouncing that car through turn two. Uh, probably a little bit of that aerodynamics under the front of the car, probably not helping not having that front on the on that car at all. I don't know, Brad, it might actually be uh, not hurting him not having it there, but uh, Jamie Collins bounced through one and two and absolutely got right off the throttle. I thought there was a mechanical issue, but it just unsettled the car so bad he got right off the throttle. He's got back on after it again now, but uh, you're right, Westy, with that beat-up car, it's lifting the front, it's carrying the front, it's like a sprint car at, at times, but uh, it's still relatively quick. It is indeed. It doesn't look fast, does it, at any angle? It doesn't, it doesn't look, look fast. nice. <laughs> it doesn't, does it? Oh, dear, the bucking Bronco. So Gardner still let it come up on the back of the jury entry. This is where this is where Alexander needs to be glued to the tail of the one. It's, jury's just got to play the cards now. And this is where Alexander can box in our race leader. Jury goes high, plays the game. Coming up on the back of the Steve Ro is a Sam Rosa car, number 77. Gardner swings about mid-track. So he's got to be careful. Still with 12 to run. Alexander. Just going past Nicola. That left rear giving him grief. So Alexander tags onto the back. Still Collins. Two lap cars between them. Pete Nicola West. Just trying to keep that car circulating. But it's still out in front. With a heat race left, 10 on the board. So Gartner going past Mick Nicola. Got to be careful because Alexander's not far behind. Nicola comes infield. A great decision, West. I think he's got a... <laughs> Spark him if you got him. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, Wessie looks like he's got a little bit of a problem with that front left suspension. Might have collapsed out of the car, I think. And he probably hasn't got any suspension left in it. No, it's not looking really good. Seven to run. Gartner still your leader. Alexander, he has not given up the fight, though. Collins is a long way back. In fact, there's half a track between second and third. So Gartner, Alexander. Now Trevor Ware's also not too sure if he's running position number four, three on the racetrack. I think he might find he's a lap down. So Collins definitely holding on to that third spot. So Gartner, he's got to be careful. He's got two lap cars. If he's not careful, Alexander will swing on by. Four to run. Off turn number four. Four to run this time. Gartner, Alexander. Flame belching out of the side of it. This is he backs off the throttle. Three to go. They go past the 23 of Mick Nicola Jr. And they've lapped everyone up to fifth place. Oh, big moment there. For so a big Nicola bounce Jr. for Nicola. Right in front of our leaders. So Alexander still holding on. So there's Collins, he's third. So our leader, fourth. he's come on the back now of Peter Nicola. White flag out, one to run. The South Australian title, he looks like it's going to stay in the Gartner camp. Off turn number four this time, check it to come out. How about it, Dave Gartner takes it. Alexander will take second. Home in third and a long way back will be the Victoria 34 of Jamie Collins. Oh, Westy. As we say that, I think that's collapsed the left front, has it? Yeah, it definitely has, and the bodywork's hanging off it. And uh, But what about that? What about a dominant display? He lapped everybody except for third place. Awesome display, great drive by Ryan Alexander. Unfortunately for him, close, but uh, no cigar, but what an That's awesome it. drive by Gartner. Yeah, it was, and Ryan showed his hand more than once, but just got to keep that composure, got to keep that 
That level of competition. How about it, Matt Gamble? Put your hands together for Dave Gartner. That is a uh, storming drive to lap everyone up to third place. And they weren't that far off him either. No, they weren't. Exactly right. Certainly showed their hand. Come on back straight. Put your hands together. He holds that SA1 on the car. Dave Gartner. So an SA way, SA slash Vic one on the car. Oh, he's got everything on there, hasn't he? Yeah, he has. And uh, we see some fire extinguishers going off there on the back of Wesley. Wesley nearly jacked the wall as he took the jacket flag there. And then it nearly slewed out of control, landed on the infield tyres. So, uh, what hasn't he hit tonight? It's been a very, very exciting... I think the uh, only thing... It, was it out of Days of Thunder, go and hit the pace car? Yeah, it's the only thing <laughs> you haven't hit. Exactly. You've hit every other thing out there on the racetrack. Let's, let's make it perfect. That's it. But what a drive. Huge pressure the whole way, pretty much, by Ryan Alexander. And uh, Dave, Gar <coughs> excuse me, Dave Gardner able to repel all that pressure and still just about lap the entire field. That's what you call... Uh, he'll be very, very satisfied with that. Very satisfied. And the car comes home straight.